Declutter your mind. In The Minimalist Journey, we can get so caught up in our stuff, our clutter, that we get distracted and ignore other forms of clutter. We get so caught up with the act of decluttering our stuff that we overlook the real problem, whether it be our digital clutter, our phone, our computer, our social media, our diet, our relationships, our whatever it is. The most important thing that we need to declutter is our mind. And we can't just hyper-focus on having a super minimalist room, a super essentialist phone, because man is a holistic being. So that means that we should clean our room, get rid of junk, simplify our wardrobe, we should fast, pray, eat healthy, work out, get off Instagram and TikTok, we should do all this, but don't fall in love with the act of decluttering. It's good to enjoy the process, but remember the goal. We often neglect our mind that is constantly overstimulated. Like decluttering your room or your clothes, you can't just declutter your mind overnight. It takes time, and I think that's why a lot of us don't do it. And so I think some easy ways to get started on this is get a notebook or sticky notes or something or even your notes in your phone. Write down your thoughts, what you need to do. Get it out of your mind and on a piece of paper because that ambiguity, that uncertainty causes stress. You know, that thing you're stressed about, that thing you need to do, and you have all these things that you're constantly thinking about, it makes your brain run slower. So get all these thoughts, all your fears on a piece of paper and out of your mind. It's not so you can continue to overthink about it, but so you can have closure. You can rip up the piece of paper after, or you can keep it so you can reflect on it later. But the point is, is that you're moving on. It's out of your mind. It doesn't matter anymore. But when you know your goals, you can make plans of how you're going to achieve them, which make them more realistic and it makes it more achievable. Because most of the stress is we don't have any confidence of how we're going to deal with a situation. But if you acknowledge the problem, then you can actually start to solve it and you'll be less anxious. In order to judge where you're at, you need a standard from which to judge, which requires data. So every day, write down as much information and description about that day as possible. What you ate, who you saw, the weather what you did that day, all these things, and you'll start to notice trends about your day. Oh, I'm happy on the days where it's sunny, where I'm out with friends, I'm not sitting at home doom scrolling and looking at the news, when I you know, work out, when I eat good, when I get enough sleep, all these things. The more and more you do this, the more and more data you collect, then you can see that there are certain habits that make you happier. And getting rid of the habits that make you feel bad. And this will help to declutter and clear your mind.